Blitz 2011. The film commences with Detective Sergeant, D.S. Tom Brandt, Jason Statham, a passionate police officer from a tumultuous southeast London police station, confronting three youths attempting to steal a car, using a hurley to subdue them. PC Elizabeth Falls, Za Ashton, approaches Brandt, seeking assistance in passing her sergeant's exam. Brandt suggests she take some time, considering her recent exit from rehab. Falls, a former undercover operative for the drug squad who struggled with addiction, receives a caution from Brandt's superior, Nikki Henson, to rein in his impulsiveness. During a session with a police psychologist, Brandt reveals incidents involving office bugging, assaulting someone in a billiards hall, and the earlier altercation with the three youths. At Chief Inspector Roberts's, Mark Rylance, wife's funeral, Brandt pays his respects. That same night, PC Sandra Bates, Ellie Fairman, is fatally shot by an unidentified assailant. SGD Porter Nash, Patty Considine, is reassigned from the West London branch as acting inspector, taking the place of the absent Roberts. A boy approaches PC Falls at her home, seeking help, believing he may have killed someone during a gang attack. Falls seeks a favor from Brandt, who provides the name of Detective Inspector, D.I. Craig Stokes Luke Evans. The shooter, Barry Weiss, Aidan Gillen, contacts reporter Harold Dunlop, David Morrissey, claiming responsibility for the killing. Weiss instructs Dunlop to choose between seven and eight, and upon Dunlop's selection of eight, Weiss vows to kill that number of police officers. Weiss proceeds to shoot PC Theo Nelson, Joseph Dempsey, in his parked car as he walks down the street. The Southeast London station is thrown into chaos due to the shootings. Brant meets with an informant Radner, Ned Dennehy, who points him in the direction of Weiss, telling him that Weiss had previously boasted about setting a police dog on fire for practice. Brant meets Nash and tells him about his personal problem of recurring blackouts. Nash tells him that Brant might be experiencing burnout based on his personal experience, as well as confiding that he once attacked a pedophile in his house as there was not sufficient evidence to convict him. Brant tells him about the lead and they both decide to visit Weiss. Meanwhile, Chief Inspector Roberts rejoins his duty. At Weiss's apartment, Brant recognizes him as the guy whom he beat in the billiards hall. Weiss panics after the visit and flees his apartment. Unknown to both parties, Radner is spying on Weiss and, on seeing Weiss leave, Radner sifts through his rubbish and finds a parking receipt. Weiss follows Roberts to his apartment and after a struggle, he kills him by pulverizing his head with a hammer. Realizing his trail of forensic evidence, he steals a police uniform and Roberts's badge and burns the flat. He then calls Dunlop and tells him about the murder and that he is now calling himself Blitz. Nash informs Brand about the incident. Radner goes to the parking garage and finds Weiss's car. He opens it and finds trophies of his kills. He calls Dunlop and asks for £50,000 in exchange for revealing the killer's identity. Falls goes to meet D.I. Stokes and asks him to bury the name of the boy and in return Stokes asks her out for a drink. Dunlop meets Radner and they go to the parking garage where Radner shows him the car and the evidence in it. However, Weiss sees this and quickly removes the evidence from the car. He follows them to a bar and kills Radner in the men's toilet before Radner can reveal his identity to Dunlop. Dunlop tells Brandt and Nash about his meeting with Radner and the location of the parked car. When they arrive, however, the car is empty and the building's CCTV is faulty, giving them no evidence on Weiss. Falls and Stokes meet for a drink as Weiss watches them from across the street. In the station, Brandt finds out the connection between the dead police officers and Weiss. Weiss is attacking all the cops who arrested him and Falls is next in line. Stokes drops Falls at her home and says he will call her tomorrow, which Falls interprets as rejection and angrily leaves the car. Weiss attacks Falls but the boy who Falls was trying to protect interrupts and is killed instead. Brandt and Nash visit Weiss's apartment and, on finding it abandoned, decide to release his photo to the media. A taxi driver identifies him and leads the police to his location. He briefly escapes but is pursued by Brandt and caught in a train yard near Paddington. Falls, traumatized by the attack, has a relapse and steals drugs from a dealer. At the station Brandt, Nash, and the chief inspector discuss that Weiss may walk due to the lack of evidence. Later Brandt talks to Nash about the pedophile incident but Nash declines to talk any further. Brandt taunts Weiss about his name, Blitz, and tells him he is nothing, but is unable to provoke him into admitting to the killings. Meanwhile, Stokes finds out from his informant that Falls is stealing drugs from dealers and contacts Brandt. They reach her house and find her intoxicated, 
then throw away the drugs and help her regain her senses. Weiss is released, but placed under surveillance. He returns to his flat and changes into the police uniform stolen from Roberts' flat, then dodges the surveillance and drives to Roberts' funeral. There, he finds Brant, and at that time Brant receives a text message and leaves. Weiss follows him to the parking garage he had previously left his evidence in. After following him up a flight of stairs, Weiss aims his pistol at Brant and tells him to face him. But when he turns around, it is Nash and Brant attacks Weiss from behind with a crowbar. Nash picks up the pistol Weiss dropped, the same gun used in the previous killings, and hands it to Brant. Weiss quickly realizes Brant's intentions and warns him how his death would be treated by the media. Brant informs him that there was no evidence, that Weiss was cleared and is no longer under police investigation, that the real Blitz was partial to people in uniform and shooting them with the same pistol he is holding. Brant then shoots him in the head. Brant and Nash leave the rooftop with Brant joking that the case might remain unsolved. The film ends with Brant releasing two dogs on Harold Dunlop. I know.